Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrap Me Quick Designs and the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group. And everyone has been asking, how do you, you cut vinyl oversized for oversized images uh, when your mat is only 12 by 12? So I'm going to show you in this video how easy it is to do. It does take a few steps to make this happen, but they're very simple steps. And once you do it, you'll be able to make an image as big as you want. So I'm going to use a tree as an image um, because a lot of people want to make a tree to put on their walls or whatever uh, for nurseries or, or um, you know, maybe in the family room. Um, this is a, a shape and design space where I hid the other layer and so now I just have a basic tree shape because my vision is to create this on the wall and then put um, put picture frames here of the family members hanging from the tree branches okay so uh, let's say so once you get whatever image it is that you want to do you want to size it to the size of how big you want it to be eventually okay so you'll go over to your edit panel make sure you've highlighted your image now you want to do this with just one image layer okay because we're going to be sl using the slice feature and you want to be able to have uh, just one layer if you need to do two layer images you're gonna have to slice that second layer separately from slicing the one layer okay so we're going to uh, do the tree and I'm gonna go over to my edit panel I'm gonna hit edit and I'm gonna go look at height because I want to keep this proportionate so I'm gonna go to height and let's say I want this to be um, I don't know three feet tall so I'm going to do 36 inches because we're looking at height in inches so now I have a ginormous tree that you can't even see on my screen right but that's when it comes to down here where our zoom feature is you want to hit zoom until you get that tree to a spot where you feel like you can uh, manage it on your mat okay <laughs> so you can see the whole image basically is what you want to do okay now the next thing you need to do is you need to go into insert shapes and we're going to pick a square and we want to grab that square I'm just going to move it over here and then we know that our Cricut mat will cut um, a complete out to 11 and a half by 11 and a half so what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just make these mats these squares 11 inches okay that way I know that I've got a good image and I've got a little bit of excess vinyl or when I slice this on vinyl or you can do it on paper too if you want but um, you want this to be manageable for when you go to take put your transfer tape over it and take the vinyl off after you weeded it and to put it up on the wall so I'm going to do it in 11 11 by 11 sheets okay so that way you'd be able to put uh, your uh, transfer tape over this very easily because they come in 12 foot 12 inch wide rolls generally um, anyway okay so we've got one but I need to make more than one so I'm just going to go over to layers and down at layers I'm going to do duplicate and I, I'm going to just say I probably need eight of these so one two three I'm just clicking four five six seven eight okay so now I have eight of them set up here so I can just grab them easily I just kind of guessed how many you ought, could always make more if you want but all you need to do let me move this back over here alright so I have it up here in the corner so basically all you need to do is go up and start and lay the first one in and make sure it's covering the edge of your images okay and um, then you want to click on the whole on the main image click on the box first sorry then do control and click on the whole image and now in the layers panel the slice will come up so I'm just going to slice it and this you have to think of this as being like a puzzle okay so you're going to pull a piece away and the black piece is the piece that we want to keep okay so here is our tree 
Okay, and I want to just move the black piece. So I'm going to grab it and move that off. I don't need it, so I'm going to delete it. Okay, and I don't need this. I'm just going to delete it. Okay, now you're going to do that same thing with each of the pieces. I'm going to move this to the front. You can do it either way, but I like to do it to the front so I can make sure where I've got my images Okay, now you don't want to leave, like like you could do it, so you move it over this way, but then you don't want to leave any extra little pieces hanging off the end. See, like if you did this, then you'd have this little pink piece laying here. You don't want that. You want to make sure that you have all of that covered as best you can. And then there again, I'm going to click on the black box, and I'm going to use my control key and click again on the whole image and then I'll use my slice and I'm going to slice this piece okay so this piece I don't need I'm keeping the black piece and it'll all make sense here in a minute when we when we start to put it together okay so this is going to go here okay you can start lining it up so those pieces, think of this as what's going to be on your mat, okay, when you go to cut your vinyl out to do your wall. I just like to keep my, I like to keep my mat cleaned up and not have it laying there. Okay, so now I want to add another one over here. I'm going to move this front. Okay, and then what I want to do is I want to line this up I can pull it down. Okay, now what's going to happen is because because of the way that we had to slice into this piece, I'm going to line this up so that it's just going to slice across the top of this one. Okay, so I'm trying to make that as easy to do as possible. I'm going to left click on that, then control, and then click again, and then slice. Okay, and there is my black piece for this, and we'll come down here and match this up in a minute. Okay, so you're just going to keep doing this until you cover your entire tree, all right, or whatever an image you're going to do. So I kind of line mine up, then I'm going to move this to the front. Maybe move it over just a little bit more. Do the same thing. I've highlighted the black box. Now I'm going to do control and highlight the whole image. Then in my layers over here, I have the slice feature. Okay, and I know this seems super tedious, but it does work. I'm just going to start pulling this down here. Okay, and these are ones we're not using, so we can just go ahead and get rid of them. Okay, and now we can kind of line this up here, make sure what we have going in. Move that over just a little bit more. Okay, move it to the front. So really you're just kind of using your judgment on where you were, depending upon the image that you're using. You just want to, don't want to leave little any little orphans behind of the image, like little, just little tiny pieces, because that'll be tedious when you go to put it together. Okay, there is the tree trunk. And it's going to come down here like this. And this is going to be here. We'll move all this over in a minute. Okay, and then we have these remaining pieces of the tree. And I'm not going to be able to get that all on one mat. So I'm going to move this up here. Slice. OK, 
Okay. We just have a few more pieces to do and then we will be finished. And then I'll show you what it does on your mat. Okay, so we're going to slice this one. Move it to the front. Same thing, I'm just repeating each step as I do it. I'm taking my time. I'm not rushing because I don't want to make any big mistakes and mess it up. But as you can see, it's very easy to do it. It's just a little tedious to get it all done correctly. Okay, so that's going to go there. Okay, now we need to do the tree. Move that black box to the front and use the command and the control key and then get my layer back slice feature up here in layers and this is the last piece of the tree okay and then this piece does not need to be sliced because it will fit we I can show you so this piece will fit on this okay so I don't have to slice it so it's just going to be the last piece so I can come in here and move all of this and of course you know you can you're going to line this up a little bit better when you're applying it on the wall but you get the general gist of you just match up the pieces like a puzzle okay and then I can do select all and attach it so that I can move it all up as one piece onto my mat. Okay, now if you move it back on your mat, what you need to do is it has to be detached because if I, I attached it so I can move it all together up on my screen better for y'all to see it okay but I want to detach it because if I hit in fact I'll just show you if I've attached it to move it on my mat when I hit go it's going to come up and give me an error message that says this image is too large to fit on a mat okay so what I have to do is I have to detach it so that it's going to know to split all these pieces up see these are all pieces that it's going to send to the mats okay so I'm gonna say go And you'll see that it has now split all of those onto various mats for you. Okay, so you'd be able to cut cut out your mat, put your transfer tape on it. Now, a couple of these, what it did was it tried to preserve your image and use as less vinyl as it could. Let's say you're cutting it out of vinyl. And so... Um, you would put transfer tape on part, weed, weed the whole thing, then put transfer tape on the separate images here so that you would have two pieces on transfer tape, two different pieces on two different trans pieces of transfer tape, okay? Because this little piece fits on your tree in a different spot, okay? So you can go back to your image as you're applying it to the wall so you know which pieces go where, and you can see the little lines. It's probably hard. Let me do this. Let me make it cream color so it'll be easier to see where the distinctions are. And I'm going to come over here in my sync panel and I'm just going to move all of these pieces up so every, everybody's on the same. And it's just a little easier for you to see where the divisions are. Okay, but now you can kind of see where you have sliced and diced this. Okay, and now you know that your tree goes together in this order. All right, so you can use your, you know, take a screenshot of this and put it on your phone or something if you wanted to. Um, so you could have that while you're actually applying it on the wall. Let's say you're not doing it at home and you're doing it at a friend's house on their in their nursery or something. You could certainly just, you know, take a screenshot of this image so you know what pieces would go where on your project. 
So that's how you do it. It's super easy. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot. And join us over at Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group where we learn more about our Cricut Explore and Design Space every day and we share our creations. Bye.